All right, y'all, so this is my 9 million fucking attempt at trying to create a motherfucking YouTube channel. Um, we'll see how long this fucking bullshit lasts. Probably won't last fucking long at all, to be honest. So, guys, somebody has to tell me why this man is still allowed on YouTube. If you guys don't know who this guy is, his name is EDP445. That is his YouTube channel name. And uh, for those of you guys who don't know, this man was literally, <laughs> he's been on YouTube for a very long time and several years ago he was outed as being a predator. He literally went to go see like, a, it was like a 12 year old girl or something. It was crazy. Like in the Predator Poachers YouTube, a YouTube channel, those guys literally caught him in the act and the famous cupcake scene as everybody knows it. Uh, basically where he was saying like, oh, I was just going to get a cupcake uh, well we all know what that means but yeah so like they caught the guy right this was like in 2018 or something okay and then ever since then youtube actually did something good and banned this guy pretty much on all fronts like he wasn't he they banned all his youtube channels right and he wasn't allowed back on the platform and since then he's you know tried to come back on the platform uh, quite um, a lot of times too. Uh, I think it was like Twitch and TikTok as well, and not just YouTube, like a lot of platforms he tried to come back on. Uh, Instagram, I think too. But anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, so I just figured out that, I mean, this is kind of old too, right? This is like three months ago this happened, and I don't know how I didn't see this until now, but he's back. EDP445 is back on YouTube since three months ago. He came back on YouTube as Big Cheese, but actually, guys, it's insane because he had the balls, the gall, to change his channel name back to EDP445, like the one that YouTube got uh, banned him for, permanently banned him for. So that's insane, guys. And he's not only that, that he's had this channel for quite a long time now, three months, and it's already 32,400 subscribers and uh, he has 50 videos on the channel which is absolutely bonkers that he's just allowed to still be on the platform even though after he got permanently deplatformed now looking at his channel he has like several different types of videos it's not just like all crazy stuff but he does a lot of like uh you know like sp I, I haven't watched any of the videos myself but just judging by the titles and thumbnails he's done a lot of uh videos on like sports highlights and uh, things that happen after sports games and stuff is what I'm assuming from the thumbnails. But other videos that he's done is actually insane. Like, it, it's just crazy. And uh, I just wanted to go over the first video here, which is like, here we go, which was actually the first video made on his channel. So let's check it out really quick. I'll play it for you. All right, y'all. So this is my nine million fucking attempt at trying to create a motherfucking YouTube channel. Um, we'll see how long this fucking bullshit lasts. Probably won't last fucking long at all, to be honest with you. Um, you know, and I've noticed that with fucking YouTube, uh, they don't have a problem with you creating a YouTube channel. That's fucking more than perfectly fucking fine. I mean, hey, my nigga, um, the more movies you buy, the more fucking, you know, accounts that you make, the more channels that you have, the, for, um, the fucking more money that they fucking get. But it's, but it's as soon as you start making fucking videos, then that's when they want to terminate and yank your fucking shit down. So no EDP. Okay, that's not how YouTube works. You can't just... Okay, first of all, yes, you can make a channel, you can make videos, just like I do. But you can't be a fucking predator, okay? And go after, like, little m kids, minors, okay? That's just not okay. And that's what YouTube has banned you for. So, no, it's not YouTube's fault that you got banned, okay? It's your own fault. And, uh, yeah, anybody can make a channel and make videos. It's just insane that he's trying to justify his actions, basically, for getting permanently banned. He literally was caught by the... Uh, predator poachers the YouTube channel literally caught him in the act trying to meet a underage uh, minor uh, and uh, Claiming that he was going to get a cupcake. It's just ridiculous. We'll see how long this motherfucking shit lasts um, I'm not gonna fucking you know start coming up with like beautiful ass fucking topics and shit to talk about You know what I mean? Just to have my shit get yanked the fuck down So I guess you can consider this a little test fucking video to see what they'll decide to fucking do and who knows, if this shit doesn't get yanked down, probably the next video will, or the third one, or the fourth one, or the fifth one, or the fucking sixth one, or the seventh one, or the eighth one. Who fucking knows at this goddamn point? So, um, yeah, we'll fucking see. Well, Jesus Christ. Okay, so, yeah, EDP45 has come back to YouTube with that video. It's a crazy video to start with, for sure. Blaming YouTube right off the bat for banning him 
Uh, it's insane. I can't believe it. I'm in shock, basically. Even though it was three months ago, I don't know how I didn't know about this information until today. I literally just saw it on my recommended feed on YouTube. It was crazy. Dude, it's crazy that he's getting recommended to me. Like, YouTube is actually pushing this guy's videos that they banned. And I think that YouTube needs to go, like, take a look, like, needs to back up and take a look at their sheet of people they banned and really look at that stuff and go back and look at this channel because he's not named che Big Cheese anymore. He's named uh, Eat That Pussy, EDP445, literally without even abbreviating it. He has like a freaking, you know, cuss word in the channel name for fuck's sake. I mean, goddamn. And going back to his channel, like I said before, he has like a bunch of sports reviews and stuff. But besides that, he has some pretty, uh, pretty controversial videos like these broads be on some wild shit like he's he's basically like ranting on women uh only fans video uh really kind of i don't even want to read these out loud it's so freaking weird like he has freaking um top 300 like porn sites it's a video on the top 300 porn sites it's insane and then his latest video is actually the worst he, he made a video called my cum smells like musty bleach that is actually disgusting and i i can't believe it but i actually watched it for you guys so i would understand what the video was about and it's so vile and abhorrent that i don't even want to show it to you guys on my channel okay so i'll leave it up to you guys to go check it out for yourself but yeah, it's disgusting. Basically, it's a minute long video of him explaining his experience of him basically releasing himself into a napkin and then accidentally putting it up to his face as a Kleenex to wipe his nose or whatever and it got on his nose and he smelled it and basically he said it smelled like musty bleach and it was pretty fucking disgusting. I don't want I'll save you the I'll save you the disgusting details about that. You can look that up on your own time. Another video I wanted to just highlight here and show you guys is one that he made regarding uh, YouTube and how he basically is ranting on YouTube about their policies. So check this out. All right, y'all, what the fuck it is, my nigga? It's your boy, Eat That Pussy 445. Coming back at you, whole ass, no life, trolling motherfuckers with yet another goddamn video, taking a shit here in the fucking porta potty, um, fucking this bitch. Okay. First of all, I, that was TMI. I did not need to know that you were taking a fucking shit in a porta potty. Okay, that's pretty fucking gross. Save the information, please. Up, you know what I mean? Laying the fucking law down, you know all that bullshit. But anyways, man, I just want to let you guys know. Um, so my top fifty, <laughs> how do I word this shit? Adult entertainment websites, right? Got fucking taken down yesterday. Um, by YouTube's stupid ass algorithm and bullshit policies. Um, I had to re-upload that video, um, on my fucking Instagram. So if you got... Yeah, so that's already a freaking a red flag right there on YouTube because he literally uploaded a video like, like a fucking watch Mojang video where they upload the top 10 whatever, but he made like the top, top 50 uh adult video websites uh of a video on that like on youtube like that's not something you should post on youtube that's something you should probably post on the adult websites not youtube okay so obviously rightfully so uh youtube you know got mad at him for that so thank you but dude first of all if youtube is actually noticing that why can't why can't they just like what it doesn't make sense they noticed that video and they they took it down or they got him to take it down but they don't ban him. Like there's like, oh, oh yeah, that video is kind of weird. We'll just, uh, you know, stop, stop him from uploading that video. And oh yeah, oh, he's the guy we banned. I don't remember that. Yeah, it's basically like they just forgot that they freaking perma banned him off the platform. They deplatformed the guy, and they just fucking forgot about it. You guys, want to go check out that video? Go watch that video. It's on my Instagram, big underscore flex four four five. Okay, seriously, like he needs, <laughs> he needs to stop with the freaking. The freaking uh, licking the lips thing, that's really fucking gross and uh, really like not helping it out, not helping his case out there. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that, but uh, it's not even like the videos itself. It's actually weird. That it's actually insane because like the video, if you look, if you go to the video's comment section, people are like crazy, dude. They're like insane. They say, no fucking way, bro. EDP is back. Let's go. Like they're fucking happy to have this guy back. Welcome back, goat. You got my support. Excuse me, did we all forget that he was a predator? He was literally trying to meet up with an underage girl, like a freaking 12-year-old as a predator. He was a predator, dude. 
Dude, I've actually noticed that uh, since recording this video, it was it's like been a span of like 10 minutes recording the video, right? And I look at the comments and I refresh the page because I wanted to uh, show you an example. Another example that I found of a comments be, like showing overwhelming support for the guy returning and like, oh, praise the Lord, EDP 445 is back and it's gone. Like somebody deleted it. He either he deleted it, YouTube deleted it or the commenter deleted it. it it's insane. Like something uh, something happened and it's crazy. I wanted to show you guys it, but it literally got deleted as soon as I was about to show you guys, which is really fucking weird coincidence. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that it's an update from EDP 445. He's back on YouTube. What the fuck YouTube? Come on. I think that YouTube, this is a, this, this is like a call out to YouTube. You need to please, you know, rethink your list or whatever you have, you need to rethink the list that you have that tells you who you banned and why you banned them. You need to go through that again and then take a hard think on that. Anyway, if you liked the video, make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.